Bob. Yeah, that was terrible. This is Slim Bob. And it's another review, finally. Because I ain't done one in ages. Like, over two weeks, my last review, I think. I forgot where it was, actually. You know, that top, my last top five list, probably. But the reason I've been doing my reviews is because of blooming assignments from university. So, yes, this is. It's time for another review. And this time it's a film. A bloody good film and all. And the film is. Paranormal Activity. We've seen. Do you know this film? I'm sorry, Ben, but I know how we're going to film this with Ben. The way I have my other YouTube channel, we. But. It's taking ages. I want to do it now. I wanted to do it for months. And I could upload this like pretty much when I want. So, you know what? I'm doing it on my own. Sorry, we can do it another time, man. Anyway, Paranormal Activity. This film, it had a big hype, if you remember, when it came out last year. I don't know when it came out in America. See, the thing is, I heard, it, when you go on Amazon, it says it came out in 2007, this film. Meaning, it's took them two years to release it over here. I don't know when it was released in America. But, I remember the trailer. All it was, was a group of American people went into a cinema. And they just jump all the way through. They like, and all it does, it doesn't show you all about the film. It just shows you the audience, like, getting scared. And it caused a really big hype for this film. And, it's worth it. It really is. I don't get the audience... Who made, it made him jump. I don't know why. It's not a scary film. It's fun. It's like a roller coaster. It's very. There's a lot of suspense. You know what I think is? I might be wrong, but this is my theory, right? The style of horror that this is, it's not. Summer, it's not very modern. I know it's like all film on a camera, but the actual style of horror, it's very old school. I mean, really old school. I mean, like, you could say, in a way, it's like the Universal Era, the 1930s, because you don't see anything. It's all, everything's implied. It's, because, it's hard to explain, because horror nowadays, it's all focused on making you shock. It's, made, it's supposed to shock you. Horror is just not the same as it used to be. A lot of time, it used to be imagination. And this film uses that a lot. Especially the end scene. The end scene is... Oh, I'll not spoil it. But, Paranormal Activity, it's all to do with your imagination. It's to do what you think. A lot of horror films in the past, they had no money. The special effects didn't exist. If you didn't have money, you couldn't create special effects. It's simple as. So, they just implied a lot of stuff. And this is the same, because it had, apparently it had a budget of $16,000, which, for a film, well, yeah, do not take a genius to work out. I mean, much <laughs> for a film, but to get in pictures as well. But, yeah, it's, it's so good. It's like, what's it about, Paranormal Activity? You know what it's about, right? There's these, this couple, right, they're being haunted. That's it, and that's what it's about. You, I'm not going to say what else, because that's what's so good about it. You, it's like, you just waiting all the time. It does this really clever thing where most of the stuff happens at night, you see. And what they do, it's a really clever thing they've done. They've put the camera on a tripod so it doesn't move, and it's constantly in the same angle. So what they do, it makes it easier for them to composite shots together. Like, there's a bit, I'm not going to spoil it, the point is, considering the budget, they were really clever in where they directed this film. It was really clever. It, right. Oh, acting's great as well. And the woman, she ain't like stick thin. She's like a, a real woman. It's like, wow. They actually got someone who looks human for a change in a film. And you don't get that. But yeah. I just love the... Cause not much happens. That's the thing. It's so minimal. Everything's so minimal, but it's brilliant. It doesn't waste one scene. This film. 
develops character. It reminds me of me Alien. You know what I loved about Alien? All my mates who watch Alien, for some reason, they don't like it. Because they say, they say they don't like it because it's slow. And it's like, you know what? Shut up. It, in, it develops characters. So when they die, you get upset. That's what I did anyway. Because the characters would develop so well that I got annoyed. I got upset when they died. And it made it more tense. The scenes where something happened, it made it more tense. This is the same. It develops the lives of these characters so well that you're always on edge. Not because you're expecting to be made jump, but because you're actually fearing for the characters' lives. And that is a rare thing in an horror film these days. You rarely get it. There's only odd ones that do do that nowadays. The Strangers did that, kind of. Alright, yeah, Strangers were pretty good, actually. Strangers were good. I think the Saws, they do it with certain characters. They focus on specific characters. A lot of them you don't give a crap about. You want them to die because they're idiots. But certain characters, especially in the first one, like I didn't want the Doctor to die at first. But that's a different film, again. But Paranormal Activity is really clever. The way he develops his characters, it's just, oh, it's great. I've got it in Blu-ray as well. And the Blu-ray edition... You probably get it on DVD, yeah, it says DVD extras, so you get it on DVD as well. You get, like, a few short films, because they did a competition where they had to, the short films, and they're, like, they're proper good, some of them, they're right for good. These, some of them are scary as well. They, oh, just give it a go, trust me. If you haven't seen it, it's still it. I would, it, here it says, the most intense horror experience of the last 10 years. I don't know. I'd say it's easily best horror of the last decade. Easily. It's, cause it's, it's different, that's the thing. It's somewhat different. It's one of them films people are going to be talking about the rest of their lives, saying, oh, did you see Paranormal Activity? It's like, are you into horror films? And be like, yeah, have you seen Paranormal Activity? That's going to be one of the first films that ever comes up in the list. Cause it's so good. It's not really scary, but it's a bit like, you know, Drag Me to Hell. Because that was funny, that. But somewhere it, it was just straight ridiculous. Like that with Grave and stuff. With body jumping. That, that's what it's for. Horror, it's a bit of fun. It's creative and it's different. Uh, that's what I love about this film. It's just... Uh, go and see it. If you can get hold of it, go and see it. It's well worth it. Fantastic, and do you know what? I'm gonna get a score. Five fingers or five stars. Cause it's just so good. It's proper. It's very entertaining. That's what I love about it. And the way it just don't rush. It doesn't rush. A lot of horrors rush. See, a lot of horrors they can't get the build up right. Whereas this, cause a lot of horrors they like opening. So I'm someone get killed. And then it will build up, someone else will die, someone else will die, someone else will die. And then they, they end up, someone, there's a big showdown and that's it. But this is like, oh, it's like, you know what, no, this happens. It's all like a mystery, it's like a little mystery, I'm trying to unsolve. It's like, in the bloke, the bloke, it, her boyfriend, he's a nubbit, Mika is called, that's the one. You've known it all the way through. You're like, stop it, just stop all this, stop everything, and you'll survive. And, yeah, and they keep going and going and going, and even though you don't want them to, you know it's going to get worse and worse, and it just, oh, it's so good. But, yeah, another great thing about it, which I haven't mentioned, is, I know it's strange, but it looks real. That, that's why it's, so old films as well, the ones like obviously films like Hellraiser, stuff like that, Exorcist, stuff like that aren't gonna look real because it's prosthetic. Whereas this, because all it all happens, because it's so minimal, it just I don't know. It looks real. It's great. It's real. Oh, paranormal activity. You can't see it. I'm just rambling on forever because that's what I do. Hey, yeah, anyway, I'm going to see you. This is Slim Mob. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.